Hey, what's going on YouTube squad? This is Eddie Gray, and I want to give you some tips on being a better composer. If you know my work, you know I've done a heck of a lot of work in the world of TV, head composer for the Kim Kardashian documentary, along with other shows, and I give a lot of people feedback, I get a lot of emails from various people in the industry, up-and-comers, seasoned vets, and I often get this one request here. Can you analyze my song? Can you tell me what I'm doing right? Can you tell me what I'm doing wrong? And I always say the same thing in most cases. A good idea is to drag in a session into your DEW of choice and literally map out the song with markers. This kind of training will allow you to start learning how to write music, composition, songs. It doesn't really matter. This is a craft and how you choose to attack it is up to you. But regardless, all music, whether it's hip hop, whether it's dance, whether it's classical orchestral music licensing tunes they all have rhythm they all have melody and they all have harmony so one of the things that you can do to make yourself a better creative an overall better modern creative is to essentially just map it out so on logic i'm going to hit g to open up the global markers all right i'm going to go ahead and get rid of the arrangement lane the signature and tempo because we're not mapping those out although that's not a bad practice either so in this case here i've got a track that i wrote and i'm just going to map it out so here we go uh the key command to map something out is option apostrophe so this just makes it really quick now bear in mind your snap to grid will affect the behavior of how you set your markers you can also use this little positive marker right there all right, let's get this done. I guarantee you, if you start doing it, it will help you dramatically. Here we go. So without even having to listen to the tune, I know that bar 10 is going to be something else, right? And so I can go ahead and start to uh, set this up for myself. So we know this is the intro. If I hit tab, we're kind of in the, uh, let's call it the A section. Of course, this could be the verse or the hook, what have you. Let's keep listening. All right, so there we had an, a lead instrument. You'll usually find that these are all broken up in four, eight bars. So if I hit shift, command, period, you can kind of start to map this out. So at bar 26, we have another transition. So I'm now using period to move the playhead. Again, option, apostrophe. And then now here we hit shift, apostrophe, and we're in this next section. So we'll just call this breakdown. So this song is a tension song. You can think of shows like MTV's The Challenge, and you would find this structure and this kind of song would fit like a glove. Let's keep going. Well, you guessed it. You know what's coming next. We got the big drop coming in. Okay, so I was trying to look at the transients to see if that was going to lead me the way. But here we have kind of the last section. And so this is using a song structure called Build and Layer. And this is something that I was able to analyze when working with a TV station. I gave a series of seminars based on the work of the modern creative what do we do how do we compose what is a DAW? and i was showing all the music supervisors there what we do and so here we have the song there's a takeaway where we eliminate instruments then there's a build and rise check it out <laughs> And then it's quite ev evident that we get to the end here, and then that's it. The show is over. 
Okay, now here would be the outro or the ending, and that right there is a great study. Now, to take this a step further, if you want to go through each and every one of these tabs and you want to annotate all the instruments that are being used, the time signature, the key if possible, any rhythmic variables and anything that kind of comes to mind. The idea is to take a step back from the usual creative process and to look at music objectively. And that in and of itself will give you a whole new set of standards, uh, a whole new tool set that you can use when you get back in it to write your music. So, hey, thank you very much. This is one tip of many that I will be bringing to the table. If you like the content, again, go ahead and smash the like button. Go ahead and share, guys. It's very important to build the channel and just share the love and share the contribution to other creatives just like you. So, hey, thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day, a great week, and I will see you soon. All right, cheers.